I'll clean it out this weekend. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're discussing where you know Evan Peters from. My name is Luke Cooper. I love cinema. My favorite movies are Citizen Kane and the Boondock Saints. For this video, we're looking at the life and career of the seasoned actor, from his early days up to his chilling role in Netflix's monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story. Who's your favorite Evan Peters character? Let us know in the comments. Midwest to West Coast. Evan Thomas Peters was born January 20th, 1987 in St. Louis, Missouri, the third and youngest child in his family. In 2001, they relocated to Michigan, where a teenage Evan started modeling and studied acting at Flint Youth Theater. No, I never got into it in high school. Um, I sort of went outside the school to do it. There's a Flint Youth Theater program uh, that I went to and, and uh, just took acting classes uh, outside of school mostly. Realizing he was serious about becoming an actor, his parents decided to see how successful he would be within a year. He had already acquired an agent, and when Evan was 15, he moved out to Hollywood with his mother, Julie, and began living his dream. You've been doing this a long time. Yeah, 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 since I was about 14 or 15, I came out to LA. Though he briefly attended Burbank High School, the budding actor ultimately transitioned to homeschooling, which worked better with his busy schedule breaking into film and television. In 2004, Evan Peters made his feature film debut starring as Adam Shepard, a teen grappling with a family tragedy while experiencing growing pains in Clipping Adam. Do you think you can manage to stay out of trouble for one more day? Just one more day. Do you think you can do that? If they leave me alone. He reportedly landed the role after just two auditions. Clearly, that was the right call since he won the Phoenix Film Festival's award for best breakthrough performance. That year, he also played a very different character in Sleepover. Peters got to show off his comedic skills as Russell Hayes, or SpongeBob, the lovable loser chasing the female protagonists around with his skateboarding buddies. All I can find are these scrunchies. Yeah, and socks. Cha ching! I found bras! Yeah! Like many actors, Evan Peters started out doing commercials. He starred in some for Progressive Insurance, Kellogg's, and other well-known brands. Peters actually thinks he earned his Screen Actors Guild or SAG card after doing a PlayStation commercial. Evan Peters made his way into television by landing a role in ABC's drama The Days as young, aspiring writer Cooper Day. He was also seen in the Disney Channel's beloved show Phil of the Future, where he played the nerdy Seth Wasmer. Does this potato chip look familiar? I'll, I'll give you a hint. Yeah. That's right. He was our first president. George Washington. The actor had continued success on the small screen with a big role in the sci-fi series Invasion. By the end of 2009, Peters had appeared in a string of popular shows like Without a Trace, Monk, House, One Tree Hill, and Ghost Whisperer. In 2010, he starred as victim Charlie Hillridge in Mosley Lane, one of the most heartbreaking episodes of Criminal Minds. <laughs> But Peters once again proved he has a knack for making us laugh when he made a lasting impression in season seven of The Office as Michael Scott's troublemaker nephew, Luke Cooper. Peters has appeared in everything from The Mentalist to Parenthood, but he also took on supporting parts in more low-key dramas like 2007's An American Crime and 2008's Gardens of the Night. I do the same stuff you guys do, and I don't say that shit to them, and they don't say that shit to me. Well, maybe you're not like a great conversationalist, Donnie. Also in 2008, he appeared in Never Back Down as Max Cooperman, the trusty sidekick armed with a video camera and some supportive words. One guy shoots it, the whole world sees it. Come on, tell me you haven't Googled yourself. He later came back for the 2011 sequel. In 2010, Peter starred alongside Aaron Taylor Johnson in the superhero hit Kick-Ass. He played Todd Haynes, one third of the film's comic book nerd group. Hello, Bruce Wayne, you didn't have any powers? Yes, but he had all the expensive shit that doesn't exist. Nope. I thought you meant like, how come nobody does it in real life? Yeah, Todd, that's what I meant. The character made another appearance in the 2013 sequel. However, Peters was unable to reprise his role, probably because he was busy with a little show called American Horror Story. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. It's a filthy world we live in. American Horror Story. 
By 2011, Evan Peters had already built an impressive filmography, but it was Brad Falchuk and Ryan Murphy's anthology series American Horror Story that really put him on the map. In the first season, later titled Murder House, he plays the teenage Tate Langdon. Yeah, who the hell are you? Get the lights. His doomed relationship with Violet Harmon, his new therapist's angsty daughter, quickly attracted a dedicated fan base. At the time, Peters probably didn't know that AHS would be a long running anthology series or that it would change his life. You know why I leave you alone? Because I care about your feelings more than mine. I love you. There, I said it. Not just on some chalkboard. The following season, Asylum, saw him as Kit Walker, a man in the 1960s who is suspected of harming his wife and is subsequently committed to Briarcliff Manor. I didn't kill anybody. The cards have given you over to my care, not for correction, but for storage while they weigh your fate. This is not a meat locker. Here you will repent for your crimes to the only judge that matters. In Coven, he was frat boy Kyle Spencer, who dies in an accident and then is literally put back together Frankenstein style by witches. Season 4's Freak Show casts Peters as carnival worker Jimmy Darling, aka Lobster Boy. Don't worry. I don't bite. Come here, baby. In the show's fifth season, Hotel, he played a more adult character in James Patrick March the murderous owner of the Hotel Cortez, bringing a 1920s accent to his performance. Well, I had it all once. Fortune, fame, but nothing satisfied. To thine own self be true. Polonius. And though Six isn't everyone's favorite season, Roanoke gave Peters the chance to play two characters, Edward Philippe Mott in the past and Rory Monaghan in the present. Season 7, titled Cult, was truly Evan Peters' time to shine. His main role was manipulative cult leader Kai Anderson. But he also stepped into the shoes of some famous, and in many cases infamous men, including Andy Warhol, Marshall Applewhite, David Koresh, Jim Jones, Charles Manson, and Jesus. And the role, or roles, earned him a nomination for Critics' Choice Television Award. It was, it was basically like my own little horror story. I was trying to figure out how to play all these guys, and YouTube, and documentaries, and yeah. In season 8's Apocalypse, Peters again played multiple roles, including Mr. Gallant and Jeff Fister, and revisited his characters James Patrick March and Tate Langdon. You saved my mom. I'm so sorry for everything. I know. Peters opted not to participate in the show's ninth season, which makes sense considering the mental and physical challenges that come with taking on so many intense characters. However, he did return for season 10, Double Feature, as playwright Austin Summers. Peters also appeared as the yuppie Stan Bowes in the first season of FX's Pose, a drama co-created by none other than Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk, alongside Stephen Canals. What do you want? Well, I want to be you. <laughs> That's a very good answer. I want what you have. The X-Men franchise and WandaVision. As his star rose during his time on AHS, Evan Peters joined another franchise, this time taking his talents to the big screen. The actor was cast in 2014 X-Men Days of Future Past as Peter Maximoff, aka Quicksilver a mutant with super speed. Quicksilver appeared in X-Men Apocalypse in 2016 and Dark Phoenix in 2019. He and other cast members also had cameos in 2018's Deadpool 2. Okay, they can't just dust off one of the famous X-Men. How about that Potts with the giant pigeon wings? What do those do anyway, huh? Carry him three feet off the ground to snatch up the nearest muffin crumb? Peters surprised fans by appearing in WandaVision as an alternate version of Quicksilver, a role once played by his kick-ass co-star Taylor Johnson. Long lost bro get to squeeze his stinking sister to death or what? She recast Pietro? In the Disney Plus series, he's meant to be Pietro Maximoff, Wanda's twin brother who bit the dust back in Avengers Age of Ultron. But spoiler alert, it turns out it was Agatha all along. Yeah, 
The guy posing as Wanda's bro was actually a regular person named Ralph Boner. Agnes doesn't live here. You do. Oh, you're Ralph Boner? Boner. <laughs> Mayor of Easttown. Shedding the trademark horror and superhero characters, 2021 saw Peters play someone normal for a change. In HBO's crime drama Mayor of Easttown, he's Detective Colin Zabel, who comes to the small Pennsylvania town to help out Kate Winslet's Mayor Sheehan. I thought we were going to talk about something else other than the case tonight. Yeah, 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 we did. We just spent the last half hour talking about how you had a stutter as a kid. The actor received heaps of well-deserved praise from audiences and critics alike, especially for one particular scene where he was said to have given a, quote, masterclass in drunk acting. He received both a Hollywood Critics Association TV award and the Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. Evan, Evan Peters! Peters. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Dahmer, Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story Throughout his decades-long career, Evan Peters has become known mostly for his dark characters, particularly thanks to AHS. In 2022, the actor takes on one of his most disturbing characters yet, real-life serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. You open a window? No. Those don't work. And, uh, I don't like opening them up because of the noise. Peters, now a frequent collaborator of Ryan Murphy, teamed up with the co-creator again for Dahmer Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Evan Peters is incredible in the role, and we're sure he'll be just as amazing in whatever comes next. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.